Alright guys, so this episode is going to be super simple, but this is just going to be going over the switch. This is a 5 port switch for the series. If you need an 8, a 16, 24, go for it. But this is the minimum setup you're going to need to perform this series, right? And so this cable right here is that uh, WAN, right? The wide area network coming in from your ISP. So wherever your ISP comes into your home, you're going to plug this into your OpenSense box. In our case, is this Zima board as shown in that firewall installation video. And then this other Ethernet port coming out is going into our switch, and this is that LAN IP address or that LAN port, right? And then all these other ports, including this one, are what devices on your local area network, your home network, will get plugged into. So simply what the switch is doing is giving you more ports for wired devices on your network to connect to. And so this cable then plugs into this Dell 3060, which is one of the examples I showed in the intro video. And that it will be where we install Proxmox for the minimum requirements and where majority or pretty much all of our services besides the backup services and the failover services will go. So I hope that makes sense. Once again, this is an unmanaged switch. So any of the information that gets sent between devices will get sent out over all the other ports if need be. Um, there is no like VLAN setup on this switch or any other fancy settings. We just simply want something that gives more uh, wired access to our network. So go ahead and buy one of those switches of whatever preference you want, so you have the connections you want. Also, if you get like a Topton N100 with eight ports or six ports on the back of it, you may not need a switch, but I would just go ahead and buy one. Super simple, that's the whole point, and that's the only thing that this switch is solving in this series for us.